What's going on boys? So today in this video, we are doing an Osas versus Hoi Ling video. Someone commented on my last video asking me to do a video on this. So without further ado, we're going to get straight on into it. I've started off with Hoi Ling because I, I don't know, I kind of prefer Hoi Ling just because you don't have to scope in. I think that's like one of the main reasons why I prefer using Hoi Ling. Now, Hoi Ling doesn't do as much damage as Osas. Osas does about 8,000 damage to the head where uh, Hoi Ling can only do uh, 7. Oh, that's a good shot right there. You have to be accurate with both snipers. With Hoi Ling, you have to lead her shots a little bit, but we're doing okay at the moment. We've got a few kills right now. We're six for six. There's someone here, yep. Let's get that free kill right there. But overall, I prefer the mobility. Hoi Ling has just got much more mobility. She just feels like you can feel like you can just jump around a lot. And I think it's generally because you don't have to like zoom in. They both obviously have a charge up. So the longer that you hold it down, the more damage your shot will do. Yeah, there's another kill right there. Ooh! Sit down, man. I think I'm good for now. Nice. Nice ulti there. I think I'm dead. I am. But hey, we managed to get another kill. We're 15 for 15. This game's actually really tight. I haven't actually spoken a lot. So I'm kind of concentrating. I want to obviously try and get the Ws for you guys. Now, Hoi Ling's ability does obviously help her out quite a lot because you can slow um, your enemies. So you make sure you get those hits like that. The only downside to it is that you kind of have to get fairly close as the range isn't massively big and it doesn't do as much damage as another good kill there. See, I don't think you would be able to do that with Osas because you would have to zoom in right there to scope in and get that shot. I feel like um, Hoi Ling can just get those kills like a little bit quicker close range. So you're going to really struggle using Osas close range. But for Hoi Ling, it doesn't matter. Both mid, long and short range Hoiling, I think, is a lot better. Okay, so we've got another Osas on this. I think we're going to lose this one, man. I can. They just seem to have like a sweaty team. But nevertheless, we're going to give Osas a go now. And regardless whether it's a win or a loss, that won't determine how I feel about the characters. But what I love about Osas is the fact that you can um, trick people using your ability. Because if I were to put my ability, uh, say, here, people think I might be looking here. But what I can do is then go out this way and shoot them from this side. I love how it barricades it so they can't see where I am. I don't know where this guy went. There he is. How did that not hit? I feel like sometimes with Osas, like um, the sh my shots aren't that as accurate as using Hoi Ling. My sensitivity might be a bit too much, but I do feel like sometimes I just generally miss my shots a bit more. There you go, one. Like then, I feel like that should have hit. I prefer Osas's ultimate because look at the range on that thing. There's like a unicorn horn going straight through their soul, bro. It deals so much damage and the range on it is incredible. I'm dead. Ooh, I think if that shot went off, that would have killed her. So yeah, Osas deals more damage. I prefer his ultimate and his ability. Both of his abilities I prefer to Hoi Ling, but Hoi Ling's like basic attacks are like just a lot uh, nicer, I feel like. See, like, I just kind of, I kind of feel like I choke my shots like way more. And I don't know why. I think it's also because my scoping is a lot faster than what my normal like movement is, which is another issue that I guess you would have to get used to is your scoping sensitivity. See that? Like, I shouldn't have missed that. There you go, seven k. Ooh, nice double kill right there. It says triple kill, but definitely wasn't. Um, I also like the fact that this here, this ability here, not only covers you but it also poisons and damages the enemy if they were to go inside it. So you can use it just to finish people off. There's one kill there. Oh, almost close to that second one. I'm gonna use my ultimate. Ah, okay, she killed me too quickly, man. She killed me way too quickly there. When I'm scoped in, I, I always forget to like jump around, but I normally jump around with other heroes. And I don't know if that's because obviously I'm zoomed in. Uh, maybe people don't know that you can like kind of jump around while scoped in. So I think Osas, oh, there we go. That's such an easy win. That is such an easy win. So you have it, Osas versus Hoi Ling. It's a tough one. It is a tough one because if you get charged, if you get flanked when you're Osas, it's pretty much GG because you have to scope in and charge up. And if they're right next to you, you know, the chances are you're not going to hit that shot. You're just going to die before you can get a shot off. So guys, at the end of the day, I generally feel like Hoi Ling has a lot more roaming capabilities. She's very much stronger in short range combat as well. 
I don't think her abilities are as good as Osas and I feel like Osas has a faster firing speed and at the end of the day has a better long range capability just because of the higher damage and the projectile speed to actually hit the target is faster than Hoyling's arrows. So Osas is definitely more of a one place only type of person. His abilities help him um, camp in like a specific area, just like in a stable area to just stay there most of the game or to rotate ever so slightly and pick people off um, in the map. Where And Hoyling is just way more for rotations and just like being able to move around freely like a normal hero. If you prefer just staying in like one particular area and dealing damage from afar and picking people off without them thinking about it, Osas is definitely the character for you. I prefer Hoyling because I can roam around a bit more and I don't like having to like scope in all the time. With Osas, that's what you have to do. So there you guys have it. That is my final analysis on both of them. I'm not saying which one is better because it's, they're two completely different playstyles.